Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little pack opening. So as you can see the transfer window is open. We got a brand new team of the week out except this week's team of the week is in fact filled with Alexander Pato. Um, as you can see in the top right there, there he is, Alexander Pato, 84 rated. Pato is actually a, one of, a really, really good striker in this game. If you haven't used him yet, then I don't know what you've been doing, but give him a try because he is actually really solid. So, you know, recent team of the week, see, they've been pretty poor. And again, this one isn't like what we're used to, you know, back when, uh, when most of the leagues are playing. But of course, a lot of the leagues have now uh, stopped for the summer. So, um, you know, there there is very limited player choices that you can do, but we should be happy there is Pato in. And that's exactly what this pack opening what we're going to be looking for also there are quite a few of transferred players already as you can see there we go transfer window is open Aubameyang, Jesus Navas, Isco you also have the likes of Neymar of course of Falcao, um, Goetze there's a lot of players out there that have uh, that have been transferred so I'm really excited hopefully we can get a few players out there there's no doubt that there's probably a few transfer players that I've kind of forgotten about and uh, or I haven't realized they've, they've been transferred and of course that will mean that I might accidentally discard a few so bear with me on that but let's get into some of this goodness. Now, of course, if you need any coins or you need to buy any coins to do these pack openings, go ahead and check out utcointrader.com. All their links will be in the description. Just a fast, reliable service. So let's get with it. And here we go. Up, up, and away with the packs. And in our very first one, we get Friedel. Oh, dear. That, that, you know, I, 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 haven't uplo I haven't opened up packs for a little while. I did one recently, but that was, the, that was the first one in a long time. So I really haven't been on that sort of pack spree since a team of the season was out. And I can kind of realize why now. This is just as a, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, there's an all attributes. We'll pass on that, though. We'll discard the rest of those bad boys. So, um, this pack opening could go either really, really well, and we can get quite a few awesome players, or we could just get completely dunked on and uh, get absolutely no one. But we are going to be, um, we're going to pro probably do around 50k worth of packs, maybe just a little bit more than that. Again, this one, not really having too many players. Lazari, though, I remember in FIFA 12, I want to say he was a 74 rated silver. He was a monster. His long shot was known across the lands as godly, but there were no duplicates in that pack. Pack, which is always a plus which is always nice to see Lazari in this game he is good but he isn't amazing unfortunately he's not like his FIFA 12 card back in the day back then Odin Wingy though uh, what a beautifully long name he has uh, I feel bad for the person who has to uh, do the kit for him but like Clement no, no again a pretty oh a fitness card that is a positive positive and then Griezmann the man that um, I, if any of you guys watched the series I did with Trout that was a quality quality player that I had um, but unfortunately, I already have you, so you can get the hell out of my face. Let's move on, though. On to the next pack. <sighs> who's it going to be, guys? I'll call it now. Put it in the comments. Who's it going to be? Rossi. Rossi. And which Rossi is it? It's going to be ah, the Rossi, the center forward Rossi, which is, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, player contract. Again, though, no one really worth keeping at all, especially at this late in the stage on uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. You know, there's very few players that in packs that you're just like, yeah, I'll keep him or I'll sell him or whatever, because a lot of the players are going for, uh, you know, not that many coins at the moment. Jovetic, though, I do like Jovetic. I like him in this game a lot. He's really, really solid. I believe, is it? does he have an inform guard as well in the 3-5-2 formation, so I'm actually going to hold on to that. I'm not going to sell him, because I doubt he'll go for much, but I know he is a really good player. And that is actually a really Really awesome kit. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make that one my active kit. Actually, oh, I already have it. But yeah, let's make that the active kit, and we can uh, quick sell that one. But that looks like a really nice kit. So there we go, a new away kit. I'm kind of looking for a new home kit. If any of you guys have any idea of a really cool new home kit, then do let me know in the comments. What's your favorite home kit? Because I would certainly like to pick up um, you know a decent one at that. Let's keep moving along though. Let's see if we can uh, f find ourselves any more little. Uh, Little monsters. Lima. Yeah, but is that a silver player? Is Lima a silver player? No. Okay, so he's not a silver player, but we got uh, Bukhari there. Uh, a striker for Wolves as well. I'll hold. Mm, do I want to hold on to him? Yes. No. A Lazari again. That's a bit freaky. Um, I think I'm going to leave him out. Uh, a, a training card. Oh, is that two training cards? Oh, I have hit the jackpot, gents. And combine that with a bit of YOLO swag. Anyone who watches my streams are well aware about how, uh, how we deal with that sort of shenanigans. Let's move on, though. No time to waste. We would just want to open packs. Make sure we get this informed Pato because I know he's out there. I just need to get my hands on him. That's all I want is that informed Pato. Kasani. Ah, this, this just isn't, isn't going well for me. 
I really haven't had the best pack luck recently. It just hasn't been going my way. Morale cards as well. One of the most underrated things on Ultimate Team, it has to be said, are morale. Is morale on players. You know, a lot of people focus on chemistry, and it's, I'm glad you guys focus on chemistry. But seriously, keep an eye out for your man morale i mean he does do a pretty a pretty uh you know significant difference to your team and that's why if you guys ever do any wagers or anything like that make sure you're top top on fitness and on morale that's always something you want to make sure you have sorted for the game and uh, again another morale card but no one worth keeping so uh we're kind of coming up towards the end of the pack opening ish i guess we'll still we'll do it like another two or three packs and we'll see how we get on with this but uh hopefully i just want i want one good player please give me this player and again, just a training card that I'm going to come out of this. I don't know if I'll uh, hold on to the player contract, I guess. Um, but again, just, just getting the willy, getting the sausage, getting the massive pipe from EA. And it's just, it's not looking good, you know. It's just, just, uh, please. Uh, all I want, all I want is this pato. All I want is this pato. And Kolu, oh, no way. A team of the season player as well. Um, a really good team of the season player, uh, I might add. But unfortunately, obviously, team of the season is uh, past us again. Another squad morale card. I don't mind picking those bad boys up. But let's get rid of the rest of them. Unfortunately, Ancolo obviously is in his team of the season. That is long gone. That is always a good time in Ultimate Team's team of the season. I enjoy that. Some great informed players do tend to come out. And uh, unfor unfortunately, well, fortunately, he was one of them. Unfortunately, he wasn't uh, He wasn't meant to be in this particular um Pack, but Christian Tello, I already have him, and that'll do for that pack. God damn this fucking pack sucks. Come on now. Come on. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Play nice. Play nice. Here it is. Here we go, baby. Per Peria. Per just fuck that, man. Ah, oh, that, is, that is painful. That is painful. Also, guys, I do want to make just a little bit of an announcement. Uh, two things, actually. So, uh, I did my taking over the world with Toby's uh, thing. That was really fun. I enjoyed doing that. And if you guys, you know, I know you guys do want to see more of it. But he's actually away on holiday. I think he's an eye and apple out there. Getting every STD possible. And uh, I know he's going to come back absolutely riddled with him. But uh, that's not going to stop me from doing that series with him. Hopefully, we can get that started as soon as he comes back. So, I look forward to doing that. I've also got a bit of a surprise up my sleeve. Um, um, when it comes to that series as well, we got a cool idea collabing with someone, some people else. But I'll say no more. Another thing is, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, make sure you do. I don't know what you're doing with your life if you don't follow me on Twitter. I'm closing in on 100,000 followers, and it would just be amazing to have your support on there. I hope you guys do go ahead and follow me on there. But this was the last pack, and I got absolutely jack shit because I just bull crap from EA. Screw that. I will pick up the, the pato all by myself on, on my ones. And that'll be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy this pack opening, be sure to click like. Be sure just to show, show some love. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Bye-bye.